to another awesome program on empowering parents. I must say, we have something awesome lined up for tonight. I'm so excited and I'm sure all you parents watching, you're going to love it. So we thought we just need to take a bit of a backseat drive and, and just enjoy <laughs> our parenting because you know what, sometimes um, life can just speed up and I think what happened in this last few weeks as all of a sudden life has just sped up and we're just running again. I don't know, comment below, let us know if, if you are still in the lockdown, slow mode or has life started to catch up with you. Yeah. I think we got so used to actually being at home with the kids. Some of us got really frustrating used to it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, now everything is starting to get back to what we would have called normal. Yeah, and I, I think the one valuable thing that, that you and I have experienced in this time is um, during the lockdown, we had some really awesome family time where we had some good talks. And even on this program, we spoke about it, how to set a routine, how to... And everything feels a little bit chaos now for us. I don't know. Let us know if it's like that for you also. But just getting back into that rhythm. So we thought, you know what, with our tall trees, we need to still continue a few conversations with them. But to find time for that, that is where the tricky part comes on. And um, so we thought we will just give you some ideas tonight that you can try out and we want to find out some feedback from you. So yes. we're going to give you ideas, but we want, we want feedback. So mm -hmm. we're going to say, we're going to call it after school talks. Or we could just call it backseat driving. <laughs> what do you speak about in the car? What do you, what do you, what questions can you as a parent ask right there to your child sitting in the back seat um, to be able to connect with them like you used to connect back in the old good days of the lockdown? <laughs> yeah, so I think um, for those of you, let us know, are you, are you picking up your kids from school? Are you, are they using public transport at the moment? Um, maybe you're driving to a mall on a Saturday morning maybe um, wherever you drive I think in the car as a family we can use the opportunity to really have some great um, conversations talks backseat driving talks mm. and, uh, and really or we can call it the rear view mirror talks <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just getting creative yeah <laughs> all right so um, so let's start. What we're going to do is we would like to just share a few games. We'll call it games just because um, this is the type of things that you can use just to start a conversation. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Yaku, if you um, remember, but we had a few times in the car um, just picking up the kids from somewhere or we're just driving the long road and the typical question of how was your day? Even to one another, you know, just asking, mm -hmm. how was your day? And I'm telling you, it's almost like that same, same answer comes back every time. And it's just this fine or fine or fine. Great. <laughs> I guess it depends on the tall tree that you have. <laughs> yeah. so, um, so these little games are actually just there to help us to start conversations and to get it going so that we can get more than just a five. It's, it's necessary to say that these games can be relevant for any tree type that you have in the back seat of your car, but some of them might be even more relevant to certain tree types. Yes, mm. so play with us this first one. Woo! The first one we're going to we're going to call it the true and false game, okay? So you're going to make a statement as a parent and they respond and you can also respond with true or false. Okay. So as as you are watching tonight, you can play with us and but I'm going to ask Yaku and he's going to ask a statement to me and we're going to see okay. if it's true and false, Let's but go. you can also say true or false. 
to the statement. All right, are you ready? Yes, yeah, maybe I just want to say this game is very relevant to your palm trees and to your um, rose bushes. Okay, they would just love this. All right, mm. so I'm going to ask it um, not to, to, uh, to a child, obviously, because it's parents watching and you, so it's going to be more relevant <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> All right, so you had more than three cups of coffee by 2 p.m. Oh, false. Praise the Lord, it's false. <laughs> Comment below, parents. True or false for you? Okay, you can you can throw a statement. Okay, so true or false? Did you have breakfast this morning? False. Oh, <gasps> really? <laughs> okay, good. I'll give you another one. Hmm. Okay, um, you had a positive conversation with a special friend today. False. I still want to do it. I still need to do it. <laughs> okay, do you want to do you want to give one more? Okay, I can. Okay, true or false? Did you pray for somebody today? Mm, true. 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 Yeah. Then what's nice is you can now sort of expand on this and ask mm. your child, listen, uh, so who did you pray for? Um, what conversation did you have and so on and you can actually keep on asking questions based on that all right mm. so that was our first conversation starter with your kids in the back seat um, true or false the other one that you can use is opposites like what was the best part of your day or what was the worst part of your day now this is something that we um, do at our dinner table also at night when we sit together we ask our kids and even our two-year-old he responds to this he always just say if i ask him um what was the best part of your day he just says mikey's friends <laughs> so um so that's one thing that you can do is just what was the best part what was the worst part of your day you can say what was the the most surprising part of your day and what was the most completely expectant event today so what was a surprise and what did you expect today that you knew that was going to happen and these are actually very nice for your boxwood and your pine trees mm, that's true yeah your boxwood and your pine trees because it's it can go really deep like you can also say what was a memorable thing that happened today or what was something that you want to forget for the rest of your life that happened today or what was the most interesting thing that happened today at yes. school or what was really boring for you today so sure. just some opposites that you can use to start that conversation with your children on your way home or on your way to school wow that's awesome hmm. and i don't think this needs examples i think you actually threw it out there for us okay <laughs> great give us another wonderful rear view mirror game <laughs> <laughs> i like that the rear view mirror game all right so uh, this one is actually something that i believe that the palm tree kids and even the rose bush kids would love okay so that is two truths and one wish oh. so you they must say three things two truths and something they wished that happened that day and then they must see it they must say it as if everything happened that day and you must guess which one was just a wish and that didn't truly happen sure i think give us an example do it with me i'm excited about this okay all right <laughs> okay so i walked the dogs today and then I um, watered our vegetable garden, our new vegetable garden. I watered that today. And then I baked pancakes. Hmm. I think the false one is that you walked the dog. We don't have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was too easy. <laughs> All right, so you are right that's not a false one that's a wish i wish we had a dog that we could yeah walk. sorry the wish <laughs> all right so that is also a nice fun one that you can do what's nice about this rita is you get to understand what's going on in the mind of your child and um, what are they dreaming about what what like in what directions are their thoughts 
going and i think that's really really good and again you can ask a question and say listen but uh, do you wish that we had a dog you know and what type of dog would you would you want us to have if we could have one and um, would you clean the dog and feed the dog? <laughs> okay, Yaki is actually trying to convince me now that we shouldn't give you one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, some of our kids that we, that we drive in a car, you know, they just had a long day at school and some of them don't want to talk too much. So that's also a nice thing with these games. You, you can just say true or false, or you can mm -hmm. just say one thing and, and then um, after just doing that with your kid, you can quickly pick up, are they open to continue a conversation or do you just need to give them a little bit of space to, to wind down? But something that also happens, Yaku, is some kids just don't speak, you know, even if you say what was the worst part of your day or what was the best part of your day, they don't speak. So for those, you actually have to give them words and maybe let them just finish a sentence. Like for instance, today during math class, I almost, and they must just complete it. Or the funniest comment from a classmate came from, and they must just give the name. Or today I was hoping for, and they must finish. Mm, sure. Or tomorrow I probably should, wake up earlier <laughs> or whatever so you just put some words in in their mouth and help them um, do it so my suggestion would also be that you don't try all the games at once yes. <laughs> maybe just take one of them and um, and get those conversations going keep that communication going um, that is so valuable and it's so precious um, if you do not pick up your children from school and they use public transport maybe do some of these things at the dinner table we many times have to to make that decision you know we are tired it was a long day there was so much happening and it's so easy just to go and sit in front of the tv and watch a program and eat your meal because we are all just tired but when we do this we choose to sit at the table and discuss or do one of these things Kids just love it, and, it just, and it's motivating. It's motivating. It, uh, it sort of removes that tiredness a bit, yes. you know. So yeah, that's it does. really a good thing. It does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, just before we end all, Yaku, I would also just like oh, to share another question. <laughs> <laughs> Are you up for one? Okay. Um, but just uh, a few things that that just to follow through the questions that you've done, just to make sure that. We don't just um, do it for fun, but there's actually a reason why we want to do it. So um, we, we want to focus on and follow up. So just a few tips. The first one is, the first one, the first tip is remember to follow up. Mm -hmm. Follow up on situations like this was now not a great example, but with a dog, just follow up with that maybe later saying, did you really want a dog? And mm -hmm. Like Yaku um, explained there. So remember to follow up. Another thing that we must do is ask questions, you know, mm -hmm. what activity um, did you do in the gym class or in the sport class? So just ask questions um, in, the, in the car. Uh, try making comments instead of asking um, questions. So that's also sometimes necessary. Sometimes they just need you to listen. So you just like, oh, wow, that sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Hmm, that sounds like a new thing you're doing at school. So not always. So there's a time to ask questions. I think you as parents are best to know that. Mm -hmm. But there's a time just to comment. And um, then give verbal cues to show that you are actually listening to them. Okay? If, oh. if they're busy speaking to you and all of a sudden you shout at the, the driver in front of you, obviously they're going to know you're not really listening to, to them. So, um, so give some wow. Hmm. Now, yes. for some of us, we are not. Th that's not our free type to be verbal, responsive people to to our kids. But um, but it's good for them to know that you are listening. Yes, yeah. And keep maybe as uh, we were joking about the rear view mirror conversations. 
but uh, maybe see if you can move your mirror a bit just to mm. see your child every now and again please have your eyes on the road but um, it's uh, just to check out your child every now and again check out those facial expressions and even if they can see you looking at them that also makes such a good connection yeah the other tip that we just want to give also is listen how your kids interact with one another and create mm -hmm. an opportunity so they must be able to if you have more than one child to speak to one another so in the, these games let them interact with one another and hear how they speak mm -hmm. to one another and they could even ask each other some questions mm -hmm. or yeah. true and false statements etc yeah. mm -hmm. and then for older kids um, sometimes they don't like to get solutions <laughs> I'm sure many of you have seen that as parents of older kids they don't want a solution they just need you to hear them out for the moment and, yes. and to keep that um, in mind um, and also try to then sometimes speak about non-school topics so speak about your your family speak about the holiday that you're planning speak about uh, a new toy you got or a new program or um, just something at church happening so try to speak about other things than just the school but don't leave school out mm. that's the other yes. thing they might need yes. to speak about it also yeah. just to be able to relax <laughs> yeah so all of this is so exciting Yaku. it's mm. just like you feel like you want to take your child to school now and pick them up <laughs> maybe <But> comment <laughs> below if you just want to go for a drive right now <laughs> get to know your child but i think the last thing that i want to say the last tip is just don't force any conversations mm. i think yes. you as a parent and i as a parent we know when we need to stop we know maybe let's just call it quits and have the rear view silence for a, <laughs> for a moment yes, yeah. mm. now i think this is some awesome games and i can't wait to hear some of your feedback mm. on these things so please make sure that you send us an email uh, let us know um, how this has been working for you type it down in the comments press that like button a couple of times um, we would love to hear from and you. even if it doesn't work let us know yeah. <laughs> we would love to know that yeah, too if there's some other mm. things that you feel like it's not relevant at mm. all but uh, listen just a sneak preview for next week. Oh. Next week, there's something really cool coming up. So ask your friends to come and join and um, send this, share this video because next next week it's going to be fun. Do you want to give us a bit of a sneak peek? Yes, we're going <laughs> to continue our gardening journey as parents. And this, you will see it is quite used and it's old. <laughs> but this is my clue for you for next week. So come back. Be ready because we're going to focus on you as a parent and your gardening skills. Mm. So thank you for joining us. We'll see you then see you. next week.